three, two, one. What's up, everyone? Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, April 3rd, 2018. I know you're having a good day. Litecoin doing its thing. Up over 11% right now, leading the market. Coin market cap, you can check it out. Number five behind Bitcoin Cash. Look at this 61% flapping. It's crazy. We just talked about it yesterday. We broke 60%. We're at 61% and cruising. I love it. Bitcoin Cash, is it losing its steam? Possibly. I think for good reason. Not to put negativity out there. I just, I don't, you know, Bitcoin Cash is, is not is not the new Bitcoin. And I think the market will realize that more and more. And as that happens, the flapping will continue to happen until we pass that 100% mark. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about what's going on with Litecoin in terms of price. You can see it zoomed out. That's the daily. A couple things I guess I want to point out is number one, I want to go over for guest context to it, this entire video would be a video that I did on March 31st. Let's take a look real quick at a clip. This area, this, this week, next week is so important for us as we trade in this chart is extremely messy right now. But as we trade in this pattern, in this channel right here, this red channel between the 128 and the 100, it's going to be so telling what happens next. Because I'm gonna to go to the daily because it's not as messy. But if we can somehow break back up, up above this now resistance line, if we can break up through that, that means we wouldn't have hit this low right here and we'd still have a higher low found there. And that would definitely be a good sign so bullish wise, we, I mean, that's what we have to see. We have to wait and see if that happens. So my audio was a little bit behind my screen share there, but what I was saying was, and I'll go to the, I'll go to the daily. We, what we needed instead of trading in this, this channel of the 128 or so down to 100 and breaking this previous low right here, we needed to do the opposite, which is have a higher low and also at the same time, try and break this bottom of the triangle. That's what I said. That's what I was saying. And we did it. We didn't hit. We didn't We didn't meet this previous low here, this double bottom that we saw. And that's extremely awesome, I think, for what we're doing. And I just want to point out that we've been, you know, we've been tracking and watching this symmetrical triangle that we've we've had open for weeks. And we did. We broke the bottom of the triangle. However, we can revisit this area of time in six months. And this thing that we've been tracking will be complete. It will be defined. It's, it's impossible to define the triangle as it's being formed. But in terms of rules, no rules have been broken. We've, we've hit a higher low right here. And that's a rule within the symmetrical triangle. If we would have broken this or even hit the 100 mark, this would be more of a horizontal line and we'd have something more of a descending triangle. But we don't have that. We still have the rules in place for the symmetrical triangle. And I know I, I'm not trying to grasp at straws here, but it just is what it is. It's there. So do the lines ch change? Do the Does this bottom support change? Of course, we have to move it down to where this previous low was, but we still have these lower highs and we have these higher lows, they're still there. So with that happening, the apex gets moved back a little bit. And I got an email from Rob, a subscriber talking about this. Uh, and I, I didn't take the time to really see where we are in terms of that apex, but we're still we're still in this this pattern. And the same thing happened back on this previous triangle that we've talked about plenty of times in relation to the one we see now. The, a similar thing happened where we could have been forming a triangle, you know, right, right up into here and talking about it. And the triangle formation, this continuation pattern changes as, as Litecoin continued to trade and no rules were broken. And finally we did have the breakout, which we all know right there. So same thing, no rules have been broken in terms of the triangle that we're trading in. And for reference, I have this up. This was a good, I'll put the link in the description just talking about symmetrical triangles, but this puts it nicely. A series of rallies and sell-offs continues, each one smaller than the last. The triangle 
gradually eases upward. Eventually, the area of indecision is resolved and the formation explodes, usually with an increase in volume. So that's what's going to happen. Eventually, at one point in time, because even right here, the, the channel, as always, continues just to get smaller and smaller. So eventually it's going to go one way or another. We're gonna break these previous lows and the triangle will be broken, or we're gonna break these previous highs and the triangle will be broken. It's gonna happen. There's no telling exactly when though. So, but as we consolidate more and more, like that paragraph was saying, the rallies get smaller, we're getting closer. So, it, I really wanted to talk about this because we've been watching this symmetrical triangle forever. And the other thing I really thought interesting to look at would be, I went over to the four hour and I know it's a lot to take in right now, but right now on the four hour and for reference, I'll, I'll bring up the, the daily, which is extremely messy right now, but follow me. Let me get rid of some of these lines. I just wanted to point out you can remember this low, what you probably don't remember, but remember it. I really don't off the top of my head, but we can look at it. This low at the, at the symmetrical triangle in this previous symmetrical triangle that we've been talking about a lot in November. If we look at the price range from this low here to this next low, we came within 5% of that triangle being broken and breaking this previous low. And just for context, I just want to show you with this current triangle that we're in, the bottom right around 100, that previous bottom to where we just hit right around 109, 9%. We came within 9% of breaking that previous low. And we didn't break it. So I just wanted to use that for context. And also, I wanted to bring up the four hour and look real quick at just the similarities of this previous double bottom that we had and you can see it. So here's this double bottom that we've really tracked that happened back in February, the beginning of February. And it's very encouraging to see that we've just pretty much formed another double bottom. And that double bottom is a higher low. So we're, we're, we're still on track and I wanna put it out there. The, the triangle did, and I'm just gonna go to the weekly now because, and I'm gonna change the weekly to the daily because the daily on the other one is extremely messy. But looking at the daily, the, the triangle that we've been tracking, it did what we wanted it to do, which is to say, when we broke through the bottom of the support, it, it gave us an indicator. It set off an alert that said, get ready to buy this dip. And that's my whole premise for everything that I do. It's when I started doing these YouTube videos, it's, it's basically what it's built on. That's my approach. It's a conservative approach, which is wait for the dip, prepare and anticipate the dip. So when, when you see something like this triangle being broken, instead of being enjoying the ride up on a, on an upswing, we our alerts are set off and we are prepared to buy the dip. And I hope, I hope you all were buying the dip because it's buying that fear and getting into the market when it's, when it's so, it's seemingly risky is probably the least riskiest move to do because that's when people are scared to get in. So that's, that's pretty much why, and I know a lot of you out there question, why do you do technical analysis? But it's exactly, and I explain it over and over every time we get these dips why I do these videos and technical analysis and follow charts. If I didn't do these videos, I would be doing the same exact charting by myself. I just do them. I do these videos and share it with you because it's, I enjoy it. I enjoy editing. I enjoy talking to all of you. So that's that I'm rambling a lot, but I, I feel like it was a lot just to put into this video in terms of the symmetrical triangle, but you can see it very clearly. Even on the four hour, you can see these higher lows. They're still there. The triangle has not been broken. The lower highs are still there. And the consolidation, I mean, just look at it. Look at the consolidation, it's strong. And we can even just take a couple horizontal lines. And there we go. 
we're, tra we're we're in this channel now and i mean really the next breakout that we would love to see would obviously be the 150. everybody wants a breakout we're not out of the woods we are where we are but we didn't break this previous this previous low we held strong around that 110 support which was extremely important and we broke through the 128 area that we also needed to break through and things are looking good that's it that's my technical analysis for today i'm out of breath i don't know what else to say um i really appreciate all of you if you watch this entire video i'm thankful for you i'm grateful for you thank you for coming by if you're not a subscriber please subscribe i would love to have you as part of the channel and i'm always learning from all of you i love reading the comments just want to let you know i do read the comments so thank you for chiming in and just kind of sharing your thoughts i appreciate it as always i will see you in the next video and god bless